Okay, so we are going to do some basic configurations to get our WordPress website working in conjunction with Cloudflare um, so that our site can load faster, etc. As well as we're going to create a few what are called page rules uh, that are specific to WordPress and which most WordPress users will probably want to create. Now, before we go too far, um, it's worth noting that this Cloudflare plugin is really actually, it's totally unnecessary. Well, yeah, it is, it is unnecessary. It's mainly used by them to kind of upsell, to get you to purchase this and purchase that. Now, um, and so I assume that you're going, when the time comes for you to start making purchases, uh, you're going to know enough and understand enough that you're going to make your purchases in here. You're going to purchase some extra page rules for five bucks for five more rules, that sort of thing. And not inside the plugin deal there. And I don't know if I'm incorrect on that. Please put, put something down in the comments. I may be. There are a couple little benefits that having the plugin will give you like you can immediately click over to see your stats you can immediately click inside there and purge your cache that, that that's a benefit okay that that i will say is a benefit but it's not necessary and you probably want to get in the habit of doing it doing it in here anyways okay number one first step one you need to have your website up and running um at your normal host in my case i'm using plesk okay so you've got it all set up i've even gotten a let's encrypt certificate there and i'm cooking along i haven't done anything with cloudflare yet that's step one that must be done first number two you come into your cloudflare account you're gonna have to set that up it's free and then you will click this button add site okay you'll add a site and you click it in blah 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 then you're going to click you're going to put in here uh, in my case it is this strangely spelled uh, domain and then you're going to click click there and then it's going to scan scan uh, your dns records and when it's done scanning you see it can't scan for those records and pull that stuff out and find out where your server is unless you've got it set up originally in my case plesk on your server okay then so now we're in step two you need we're going to need to deal with our dns all right so um now i added this record a mail record and you can see it's set to dns only right it's not proxied right for mail you will mess up your email if you try to handle your mail through this or when, when this is set to an orange cloud which means that it's going through their proxy no nope. you want all your requests and all those those uh, HTTP requests to be forwarded on to your server because you're going to be dealing with your email okay so you could add this by doing this, you go in here, you add a C name, and then you go mail, um, right, as I did. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Well, actually, one thing. You're going to go in there, you type all that, and then you're going to remember remember to click that, right? Okay. So also your MX record for email. You can mimic what you see here, um, but... The key thing is it says DNS only. All right. So then once you've done that, you're going to click there. There, In your case, because I've already done it with this domain, you won't see it. There'll be another button down here. You're going to click it. All right. And then it will take you back. It'll, it'll land you on this. Whoops. Come on, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, at any rate, it'll land you back on a page that will give you two name servers. Okay, in my case, it gave me these two. And so you want to go, all right, so 
well, I'm kind of disappointed that I can't show you. There's a little page that will show up um, here and it will show you these two name servers. Okay, maybe it'll be a different two names. In my case, they, they choose these. This is from Cloudflare. They do it randomly. Maybe it'll be Tom and Sally. Who knows? But they're going to give you two after you complete this bit with the DNS over here. Okay. Then you come over to whatever your DNS provider is. It could be Namecheap. It could be Gat, GoDaddy. And you put the first one in there and they're going to be a little different. They're kind of unique name servers. And I've already changed them successfully. You're going to click there. Okay, and then that'll be that. Now, what's the next step? We're going to add some page rules. So you go over here, click page rules, and we're going to create our page rules. So the first one I'm going to do is this. We're going to say WordPress-admin and then an asterisk, a wild card, and that is going to cover everything in our WordPress backend administrative area. Okay, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to pick a setting, very important, our cache level, and we're going to set that to uh uh bypass. Bypass means no caching. We don't want that because our pages are going to be changing so often, right? Um, so we definitely want to do that all right and then another one we're going to do is we're going to do this and log in and so what i did was i changed my um where are my plugins here I change what I normally do is I change my login right so that it's not normal like I could put a uh, login of skewer six and so now my login page will be this not the normal normally this is what it is right okay but in this case I'm gonna make it so that it just login not here but um, let's say that I put this in there. Now I'm going to come over to Cloudflare and I'm just going to say anything after login. Again, we're going to bypass it because we don't want to cache those things. I'm going to save and deploy that. Now we're going to make sure, well, okay. Um, well, all right, so we're going to, I'm going to go change one of my rules. This is an instance where you may end up wanting to buy more of these um, page rules, and I'll explain why in a sec. Okay, so these two asterisks, this applies to anything coming before chainchina.org, and this is anything after, and here we're going to take SSL okay and the settings have changed previously in a lot of these old tutorials some of these the the items in these drop downs are a little different so we're going to do full SSL full and this is going to force SSL um, on our site now if you want to know the difference between full and strict you can come over to this Cloudflare pay, play page and you can watch this video read this stuff um and get a few more details about that uh yep we want to put this as first it's the very first rule which means that we're always going to force communications to be over ssl okay okay now let's do this let's get rid of this page rule okay and we're going to make another one and we're going to do this. All right. Now, here's where we're going to really get the benefits. 
this is going to cover basically all of our pages, right? But um, and we're going to do this. What is our cash level? And we're going to say cash everything. Now the the default cash level is standard, okay? Um, and what that means is it will cash things like your images, which is great. It'll speed up your site, your JavaScript, your CSS. But if you say cache everything, whoa, you're really going for it. And that means that even your PHP pages, the dynamic content will cease to be dynamic. That when a visitor requests a particular page or post you have, what you know, it, in Bangladesh or in Paris, France, or wherever it is, there the web request is not even going to be forwarded on to your server. It's just going to be boom, boom, just like a heartbeat fast, right? Um, but you have to be careful with this um, because some pages you want to bypass the cache and you definitely are going to need to have some interaction with the server. Now, how about this? Auto minify right now what, what is this if you don't know what it is just you can google it minify JSS minify CSS essentially it just compresses um, well you could do last it doesn't matter it just won't make it first you want to have your first page rule be SSL okay you guys well these are the basics um, and if I said something incorrect about that uh, plugin, um, let me know down below. But where, where you want to deal with your Cloudflare configurations really is within your Cloudflare uh, dashboard.